Hi, Julia. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Has writing your memoir helped you better understand your recent political experiences? It certainly has because it makes you think about things in a time frame. So rather than snatches of memory, it makes you think about how all the pieces fit together. And that was a lot harder in some ways than I was expecting it to be. There are so many threads of things you do as Prime Minister and you tend to remember them a little bit one at a time. And in this, I needed to weave it all together. And how did you find the writing process? It needs a bit of discipline. For anybody who's thinking of writing a book, it needs a lot of discipline. I schemed out what should go where in the book to start with uh, and then started writing before Christmas and really hit it hard in January and February this year. So overwhelmingly, I enjoyed it. Uh, the editing stage, when you're getting to finer and finer changes and considerations, uh, there's parts of that that can be a little bit on the frustrating side. But overall, I enjoyed the process. And what did you learn the hard way about writing? What I learned the hard way is really just how hard a work it is. I mean, one of the things about being in politics, being Prime Minister, is your day is filled with different activities. So you'll be doing an interview now and then off for a parliamentary debate and then, you know, working at your desk and then potentially speaking at a function. Uh, this was just hours and hours and hours of at task. So that whole day after day grind of it, uh, it reminded me of some of the things I've done earlier in my life but politics tends not to be quite like that continuously at one task. And the other thing I learned is you've really got a plan at the start. I thought I had a pretty good plan about chapters and structure and what was going to go where, but I did have to revise it a few times as I went. In a life that has been as rich as yours in experiences, what do you choose or how do you choose what to put into an autobiography and what to leave out? There were lots and lots of hard choices because it gets to a stage where, you know, you could write for forever and produce this huge, huge work. Uh, what I tried to do was pick the things that were essential to telling the personal and the political story. So weaving them together and the things that really mattered to uh, what happened and why it happened. Uh, so it does mean that there have been some, you know, good stories and even funny stories that I've uh, not been able to include in the book. But I'm sure as I talk to people in bookshops around the country, some of that will come out too. Which leads me into my next question. Not long after you left office, um, you participated in an event at the Sydney Opera House. Will you be travelling around Australia to, to meet readers and book buyers as part of your book promotion? I most certainly will. I'm looking forward to getting out on the road. Uh, as a Member of Parliament, then as Deputy Prime Minister, Prime Minister, I was frequently out on the road uh, meeting Australians in all sorts of settings, shopping centres, schools, hospitals. Uh, this will be like a reprise tour for me, uh, back out on the road and seeing people this time in bookshops and some uh, town halls and community centres and gatherings of people who are interested in the book. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and congratulations on the publication of uh, My Story. Thank you.